last week was absolutely amazing with Hanukkah coming. I feel even more optimistic about the project and there were so many little niggling things like the chain plates, how to fix certain stuff and a lot more stuff, a lot more stuff off camera. I've got now so much information and all the information that I, th that I think I need right now at least to, to get the boat almost ready or at least in a sailing condition. We went through all the rigging, everything, it was amazing. I only have one week until I go back into the water and uh, still a lot of work to do. <laughs> Um, Annika suggested that I raise the water line by 10 centimeters, so I'm gonna do that and also gave me some advice as well which I didn't really know I thought that pretty much all masking tape was not very good and if it got wet or under the Sun the glue would melt and it would get stuck on the hull but it turns out not all masking tapes are equal <laughs> so the cheap white stuff that you get is good for indoor obviously used it on one half of the hull the yellow stuff that I put on seems to be the outdoor stuff and that's really really good and uh, yeah I've been out to get some new thicker tape and also Hanukkah told me the technique to do it because I was putting little dots on we were measuring it measuring it from the top you can do that but actually it's actually really good to do it by eye get it get it straight and put it in a line so that's ideal with two people so I'm going to try and do it with one people today essentially what I need to do to get into the water and for the boat to be you know safe in the water is to raise the water line sand back the top coat prime the exposed bits of fiberglass below the waterline, then paint the anti-fouling. I also need to uh, put the rudders back in place with the plastic spacers, also relash the beam, oh yeah, and the beam. <laughs> I really need to fix that beam. I wanna put the beam on back on the boat before I go back in the water. So yeah, the beam, the bloody beam, I forgot about the beam. All right, I've got something like today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's video editing day, Friday video editing day and a little bit of work so I have uh, three and a half days yeah Monday Tuesday Wednesday half of Friday three and a half days <sighs> this is gonna be intense hopefully I'll have some helping hands as well we'll see we'll see okay let's crack on <laughs> come on mate Can't stay there.
not the most perfectly straight line and it kind of goes up at the ends which apparently is not really bad because the, the boat actually it does pitch more than roll so that could be okay. I'm just going to wipe all the exposed fiberglass, wipe down the first beam also and uh, then uh, put this epoxy primer on, just uh, Epifanes epoxy primer and uh, yeah super hard stuff I'm trying to prepare enough things so that I use the most get the most out of this paint um, it's something like uh, it's either 25 or 35 euros for 750 milliliters and uh, that should cover about uh, 10 meters squared per liter Don't judge me for the chopstick. <laughs> I run out of paint, st paint stirrers. Yesterday was really productive. Sanded, primed, taped, waterline level raised. Today I'm going to buy some anti-fouling, so that's going to be a bit of a wedge out of the old uh, bank account. Get some black anti-fouling, and I also want to get hard anti-fouling. But yeah, it was funny, last night, whilst I was priming everything, because I had a full can of paint, I also painted the beam as well, pretty shoddily, but it's, it's, you know, it's a layer of epoxy primer on there, you can't go wrong. And I spilt the paint can onto the deck and loads of paint came out maybe a, a third of a tin or something and so I, instead of cleaning it up I just decided to spread it the surface was not prepared it was a little bit dirty probably greasy and uh, so I thought well it'd be a fun little experiment at least to see what happens if you don't prepare a surface it the paint was incredibly thick and we had some dew this morning or last night some condensation and basically the paint bubbled up whether that's because of the moisture, uh, because it was laid on quite thick, or whether it's because there was grease or something on the surface. Either way, that's proof that you should always prepare all your surfaces. Everything else, the paint, where I painted it, below the waterline, it's all good. And on the beam, when I spread it out properly and used acetone and de de filthed, filthed it, de filthed it, de greased it. So yeah, there you go. Prepare your surfaces. It's funny though, it actually has an anti-slip effect because <laughs> of the little bubbles. Anyway, today I'm going to buy some anti-fouling, prepare everything, the flipping beam. Oh, I keep forgetting about the beam. Okay, we won't worry about the beam, we'll just do the anti-fouling, get all that sorted first. Hopefully some beam fixing people will come. One on here, isn't it? And one yeah. on the other side, so we only need two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's only tiny. So tidy. <laughs> it's, it sticks to the glass here. Yes. I love the text though. The fun. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. Shit. These are the, these are the two we liked. Mm. Yeah. And of course, the size can be bigger. So they both have a nice. Yeah. I, I think I still. I think this is cool. Yeah, I think this one. Yeah. This is 40 centimeters. This is 60. No, 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 no. 42 and a half. It's now 7 p.m. I've spent uh, the whole day just cleaning the old paint dust off the boat going to get anti-foul. I've got 10 litres of anti-foul, cost me 300 euros. Chris came along, he's been busy designing some fonts for me and I'm really happy because 
the first one they showed me was so good i really love that fun so thank you so much chris for sorting that out really appreciate it but yeah like i said it's 7 p.m i reckon i've got two hours of daylight i'm not sure i'll be able to get everything done but uh, time is of the essence so let's crack on I'm using a hard anti-fouling. It's going on really well actually. Someone once advised me that it's good to do uh, more coats at the top because that's where a lot of the uh, marine growth grows. Anyway, this, is, this paint's going on really well. Not bad. So it's 8.30 p.m. now, so it only took me an hour and a half to anti-foul. <laughs> I still need to do another coat, but an hour and a half to do that. Well, I was absolutely smashing it, but uh, that's cool. That's really cool. If we can clamp her down. Yeah. 
So I did a bulk order of lashing rope for the beams uh, because my friend Dan also has a Warham catamaran and we need 200 meters of eight millimeter rope. So I've put in an order, I've bought it together, got a 20% discount. I'm gonna go pick it up. Sill's uh, gone away for, uh, for, for the afternoon. So I'm taking care of his lovely dog Parker, who is an absolute legend. He's so, so calm. And yeah, last night, torrential, torrential rain. The weather now is getting autumnal, it's getting cold. I don't know where this summer's gone, but it's gone, <laughs> it seems. See ya. So a huge thanks to Sil who stopped by and uh, just put the remaining side pieces on the beam. You can see that because it's exactly where the little black dot in the middle of the screen is. <laughs> Keeping a clean camera sensor in the boatyard is quite difficult, so excuse all the little black specks. One whole day until uh, I get lifted in the water. I'm gonna do the anti-fouling tonight again, try and blitz it again in an hour and a half. And uh, if there's any daylight left, maybe a plane, no, I can't plane down the beam yet. Tomorrow that beam's gonna have to get put back on the boat and uh, so I'll have to plane it down tomorrow uh, but tomorrow once the beam's on it needs screwing on as well the little end cap yeah I'm gonna be going into the water as a bit of a Frankenstein let's face it the rudders also they need some anti-fouling so they'll get some anti-fouling also rainwater everywhere so I'm gonna have to put my little slippers on for this job and uh, yeah music sunshine I'm gonna have a couple of beers let's get this Let's get this show on the road. On this occasion, the beer was not a good idea. One full day until I go back in the water, loads to do. Mostly just organizing all my stuff because everything's out on the floor, there's loads of rubbish, there's loads of trash. And I uh, need to put the rudders on, need to plane down the beam so that can fit in the slot and uh, yeah, lots of other stuff. the bottom of my rudder and uh, I needed to create a bushing and I've done that with a little pulley. I'm just taking the plastic bit out, put it on the bottom. This is just to keep this little pintle thing in place when I pop it down so it doesn't go over the shaft. I'll take that off, put a washer and a proper nylon bolt on it and that looks pretty good to me. Lashing on this first beam, got some good quality eight millimeter pre-stretched polyester rope. There is information in the plans on how to do it. It's quite simple. Just wrap it round, put a little bowl in in the end, tighten it up, and then. 
do some tension wraps. <laughs> It's uh, moving into the water day. The place is an absolute mess. I'm literally just this morning trying to pack everything away. First job is actually to get the beam back on, which is not ready. Still did a bit more work on it yesterday, but definitely not ready yet. Uh, but it's gonna go in and uh, I guess I'll lash it down temporarily, even though there's no end cap on the beam. Uh, yeah, so they're gonna do the beam. Give me an hour, or hopefully a little bit of time, to uh, clear up and then we'll go in the water. The, uh, the beam needs planing down more, it doesn't fit in the trough, so it's... <laughs> A little bit wonky. Uh, I'm just going to put a lashing on it anyway. It's the uh, Warham Fraternity moving day today. I think we'll be neighbours on the water as well. Lovely guy, Peter. Lovely guy. Well, here I am in the water. A lot of people are asking me what's what's going to happen now. Where am I going? What am I going to be doing? I'm staying here in the same boatyard, and the boat's going to be here pretty much over winter. Um, I did promise that I would be sailing the boat this year. I promised that to myself and that is still the promise. Um, if I can uh, sail for back to the UK, then I will, but uh, I'm not gonna rush it. A lot of people have said that I should take a break now that the boat is in the water, but uh, my idea of taking a break because the weather is so good is to not mess around as much on fiberglass and bits and bobs and repairing rot. I'm actually just gonna start getting the stuff that I need for the mast and the engines. I'm just gonna start doing that as a little bit of a treat to myself. So over the next week or two, get a mast step, learn how to do the Dyneema rigging. And, um, and of course, working with my dad to get the engine boxes sorted to be put in place. And then I ha I'll have a sailing boat and then everything from that point, I think is then gonna be uh, just tidying up and making things perfect. And that's gonna take months and months and months. 
My long-term goal, of course, is to cliche sail around the world. But yeah, that's my goal. And uh, that big trip going into open oceans is most likely to start next spring. So yeah, over the winter, I want to do some sailing on the lakes. Uh, do some sailing, testing the rig, getting comfortable sailing the boat and making modifications um, while the weather is not too good, which is going to be difficult. Anyway, that's a lot of waffle, that's kind of general plan. Thank you so, so much for you guys who went to my PayPal coffee, I know I say it every time, but thank you so, so much, helping me not to eat into the budget and uh, yeah, as much, so thank you so, so much. Thanks to everyone for watching enjoying the videos uh, if you do like them please like subscribe all that good stuff all right next week uh, continuing work more towards getting the deck nice and flush getting a whole workspace getting the master step and all that stuff all righty see you later